Hi guys! Hey, I thought I would do a video that you guys request a lot is about TV shows because you guys know I'm obsessed with TV in like a massive way. Um, and I thought right now would be the perfect time to recommend shows to you because you're all probably watching a bunch of shows because we're all stuck under quarantine or house arrest or self-isolating, whatever you want to call it. I hope you're doing that because if you're not, shame on you. But I thought I would recommend a ton of TV shows. I really like why I like them. Um, I don't want to make this list too long and a lot of them I have mentioned before so you can go back and watch my old videos about different TV shows. So like right now I'm actually watching movies. I have lists of movies I haven't seen so I'm kind of running through those. But these are shows I would totally recommend you watch um, if you are bored and you want to watch something. So first ones are on CBS All Access. Right now they actually have the new Twilight Zone which I haven't watched but I heard it's good. Um, but CBS All Access is five something a month um, which is pretty pretty good I think and then I think it's like nine dollars if you want no commercials but you can get a free week and when I tried to cancel my free week they actually give me a free month so just letting you know but um, there are two shows on there that I would totally recommend one is Why Women Kill so good it's like has humor but really drama and it kind of feels like a soap opera but different it's super interesting it has three women who live in one house but like in different centuries or different decades I should say not centuries um, so I think it's like the 60s um, the 80s and current time um, super interesting it's pretty much you follow the lives of these women and their husbands or whatever and why a woman would kill I think it's super super good. It's like one of my favorite shows. Next, also on CBS All Access, is Tell Me a Story featuring Paul Wesley. It's an, um, oh what's the word? Not an analogy. It's a, um, it's kind of like American Horror Story where each season has like similar actors but different stories. So first season takes place in New York and it is current modern day dark retellings of fairy tales so it's not magical or anything like that but like season one has the three little pigs little red riding hood and hansel and gretel and it takes place in new york and then season two which i just finished takes place in nashville and it has um sleeping beauty beauty and the beast and ooh, what was the last one cinderella um and it's super super interesting they're really good they're super dark um but the acting is really good they're really interesting i feel like i liked season one better um but they're both really good and they're supposed to have another season out um i think they're planning on having a third season so i don't know if it's been announced but i think it's likely those are really fast to run through um like i said one only has two seasons one has one season and you can finish them in like four days so that's super easy to watch but mr binks what are you doing? Now we have some old school shows that if you have never watched them and you thought why not like I should totally watch it. Number one Charmed. My all time favorite show of all time like all time Charmed. Watch it. The original not the new one. <laughs> the old one. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. You can skip the last season though. I gotta say. You could totally skip the last season. Another one Buffy or Angel. I definitely watch Buffy first and then um, look up. I can't remember when it is but like Angel is a spin off of Buffy. Hey! 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 But um, Angel is a spinoff of Buffy and they kind of overlap at some points. So what I did when I watched them all for the first time all through was um, like started watching Angel right like when it would have been the spinoff that came on. Kind of like the originals of Vampire Diaries. Um, that's kind of what I did. So like I went back and forth between the shows like one episode of Angel, one episode of Buffy. That kind of thing. I would totally watch those if I were you. And then Bones or Castle either one. Um, they're both kind of the same but a little bit different. I'd say Castle is a little more humorous than Bones but they're both really good kind of crime crime solving things where there's like a new thing every episode and like a big overarching problem throughout the season so I really like those. Veronica Mars on Hulu so 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 good. I watched it all from the beginning again before the movie came out or the movie the new season came out and the movie um, but really good. I would totally recommend watching the movie. Watch it. Jesus Christ! Okay, so Veronica Mars, ER. I don't know where you can watch ER right now. I'll try to link like everything. I'll blow. I'll list out all the shows I'm mentioning below and try to um, write where you can watch it. Also, right now, if you don't have like Hulu and all that, just get it for the time being and cancel it at the end of the pandemic. ER is one of my all-time favorite shows. It's one of the shows that like you have 16 seasons to watch, like 22 episodes each season. Like it is a deep dive. This is going to be a hefty show to watch but it's so worth it. If you like a hospital drama that isn't as cheesy as Grey's Anatomy and has way better acting, totally watch it. It's so good and you also feel like the 90s kind of stuff because that's when it did start. I would say Parks and Rec but honestly 
I can't watch Parks and Rec ever since Trump was elected. It's just, it's too close to home. It's like, the Parks and Rec used to be funny, um, because you think how could people be that dumb and like actually say these things with the townspeople, but now it's actually true. So it's kind of too hard to watch. So I can't, I can't recommend that right now. But if you think that you would like it, it's definitely a good show. Um, also The Office, of course. I mean, The Office. <laughs> it's so good. So it really is up to you if you want to watch something a little bit more lighthearted and fun. Um, that's kind of what I'm trying to do right now. But um, there's obviously some more serious things on my list as well. I could recommend really anything on the CW. Supernatural, Roswell, New Mexico. Like there's so many things on the CW I would recommend. I really, really, really love the CW. Um, Supergirl, all the DC comic shows. Um, but I don't know if everyone's into that, and I feel like if you are, you probably are already watching it. Lizzie McGuire is on Disney+, Plus. totally watch that, or even Stevens or any of the old Disney Channel shows if you're around my age, um, they're all on Disney+, Plus. so totally recommend that. Unreal is really good, it's on Hulu I believe. Um, Unreal is kind of like, um, it was written actually by one of the people who used to work on The Bachelor and Bachelorette and all those shows. So this is kind of a scripted show about the behind the scenes of a show like The Bachelor and Bachelorette. Now it's a ha obviously 100% accurate, but I did read the book all about behind the scenes of The Bachelor and it is kind of similar. So I would totally recommend that if you're into shows like The Bachelor Bachelorette, um, this is a really cool, like, behind the scenes view of it. It's really, really, really interesting. If you want something really funny and kind of relaxing to watch, Baby Daddy or Young and Hungry, I think they're both on Netflix. Um, they're both really just like enjoyable sitcoms, nothing that's gonna stress you out. Series of Unfortunate Events, if you want some nostalgia, if you read the books when you were a kid, totally watch it on Netflix, the show, not the movie. Um, there's three seasons and they're fantastic. I might actually rewatch that, it was so good. It was so, so good. The acting is fantastic. Another one that's kind of gonna keep you um, enjoyable like something that's going to take your mind off of things but it's hilarious and also the story is interesting enough to really keep you pulled in like i feel like something like baby daddy and that kind of and like young and hungry like they're enjoyable but like the plot isn't so intriguing like you could easily just like get distracted but santa clarita diet on netflix is interesting enough to keep you interested and intrigued and want to keep watching but it's also super funny and not too serious it's about um it's a drew very more and pretty much turns into a zombie and like how she has to live her life as a zombie it's so good younger if you haven't watched younger that's a good one to start now because it is kind of it's very Sex and the City-esque, I guess. I mean, it's definitely way more modern and better, and I kind of don't like Sex and the City, but it has that kind of vibe of New York and everything, um, like the fashion and all that kind of stuff. I really like it. Younger is totally something you could start watching right now if you have been wanting to watch that. Marvelous Mrs. Maisel is a really good one to watch, um, to kind of take you out of the times right now. Absentia is not the most positive movie it, or TV show. I think there's two seasons. I think it's two on Amazon Prime. I don't, like, it's not definitely like the happy-go-lucky kind of show that's going to distract you from everything that's going on, but it's a kind of dark show that will distract you from everything that's going on. If you haven't watched You on Netflix, there's another one. It does have its humor to it, but it's definitely more on the dark side, so it depends on what kind of thing you want to watch. Bloom is really, really good. I think it's on Hulu. It is just one season. You can get through it super, super, super quick. It stars, oh my god, I can't remember her name right now. Shoot, Haley from the originals. Uh, it stars her, <laughs> and uh, it uh, takes place in Australia. It's super, super, super interesting. Again, not funny. It's definitely way more dark, but um, it's about kind of like this town in Australia that was hit by I think a hurricane, and um, people like are suffering and people are very sad. And some of the older people somehow find this like flower and become younger. And it's only temporary, so everyone's trying to find this flower so they can stay younger. It's super interesting. Like, I know it sounds weird, but it's so unbelievably interesting. So I totally, totally recommend that. If you want something really funny, Miracle Miracle Workers is another kind of anthology show. That's the word I was looking at for earlier. It stars Daniel Radcliffe, which is just like the number one re reason to watch it, and Steve Buscemi. Um, it's a comedy, obviously. Um, it, the first season takes place in heaven, but heaven is like an office. And the second season right now is like the Dark Ages. Um, super good. Like guys, this is such a funny show. It's super fast, like half hour episodes, um, but it's it's so good. Nancy Drew is super good. I think I'm still, it's still the first season right now, but it's really good. I didn't think Nancy Drew would be good. I know it's a CW show, so I should have mentioned it earlier, but um, if you like dark kind of ghost crime things, you'll really like it. Legacies, 
I honestly, if you have a lot of free time, watch all of Vampire Diaries, watch all of the originals, and watch Legacies. I want to say Legacies, it's not my favorite. I think Vampire Diaries is still number one for me, but Legacies is really good. Like, they did such a good job. Like, sp a spinoff has never been this good. Like, I love the originals, but it really took its own turn, um, and it just had the same, like, preface as uh, Vampire Diaries, but it really, like, went its own way, but I feel like legacies has such it really did a good job of matching the vibe of the originals and of vampire diaries and it's like a spin-off of both of them which is really cool the acting is good like the new characters are good the old characters come back and it's just it's really solid it's a really solid show and it gives me very like early days of charmed vibes um it's just super like they really are doing a good job with it i really 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 love it after life on netflix season two comes out on april 24th so watch season one it's a dark comedy like a dark of the darkest comedy but it's so good if you like ricky gervais he wrote it he directs it i think he stars in it like it is so good and if you want something that's just gonna like keep you distracted that's really fun and like you don't even have to pay attention all the game shows from abc are on hulu so totally watch them i'm obsessed with all of them match game family feud um can't think of all the other ones now but i'm a big game show person so um those are some of the shows i thought you might want to watch during this time um i have like way 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 more heavier list than this but these are the ones i just thought like are are solid to either put you in a really good mood and distract you or put you like really into something that's super dark and like hardcore to distract you if you have any more recommendations leave them down below i probably already watched them um and uh, if you like are even thinking about watching something and I didn't mention it, ask away. I might have watched it and just forgot to mention it. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and staying indoors. Um, and I will see you soon.